a very warm welcome to all to the department of physics iit guwahati this is a glimpse of the department professor a perumal is the current head of the department of physics the department was established in the year 1995 the phd program started in the year 1996 followed by the msc program and the btech engineering physics program in the year 2000 and 2006 respectively the major areas of research in the department are condensed matter physics and statistical mechanics laser and photonics quantum optics and atomic physics high energy physics astrophysics gravity and cosmology there are 23 professors 11 associate professors four assistant professors who guide motivate and inspire our student community towards a bright future in physics there are nine technical staff and three administrative staff who help in making our academic experience smooth and effortless we now present a glimpse of the msc and btech lab the computational lab the electronics lab and the btech first year lab the department also maintains several sophisticated facilities one of them being the physical property measurement system ppms this is a physical property measurement system uh, which consists of a uh, uh, nine tesla superconducting magnet and uh, a ccr setup equipped with it uh, with this setup we are currently it is uh, working in a vsm mode where uh, we can measure the magnetization versus field and magnetize magnetization versus temperature in which uh, uh, magnetization versus uh, field can go up to 9 tesla and man, uh, magnetization versus uh, temperature goes up to uh, 1.7 kelvin to 1000 kelvin here uh, other options are also there like uh, electrical transport multifunctional probe resistivity rotor and uh, thermal transport currently here vsn option is activated and here the magnetization versus temperature is running this is a rotating anode x-ray powder diffractometer in short xrd it was purchased from rigaku in japan with a financial grant of dst fist program This is basically used for phase analysis and characterization of solid crystalline material. This is BSM lab. So this is the BSM vibrating sample magnetometer where we can do the magnetic measurement at different fields and at different temperature. This is one arc melting setup. Okay, where you can melt the sample. Uh, it's a different elements, a different metallic compound, in metallic things you can combine. into a alloy by using this arc melting setup and this is a sputtering setup so this is a pc and rf magnetic sputtering system we can deposit it a conducting material as well as non conducting material so here we use one huge magnetic coil to confine electrons here that's why it is called magnetron sputtering system and the gas that we use here is argon gas and we use the system to make thin film fourier transform interferometer or ftir is a sensitive equipment for the measurement of vibrational energy of functional groups we can estimate bone length bone angle etc from ftir data this is solid state physics lab uh, faculty in charge is professor s srinivasan and professor a perumal so we have some equipment like this surface profilometer and some what is this electro deposition chamber okay this is magnetism lab faculty in charge is professor s robi here magnetic various magnetic measurement at low temperature or high temperature can be done and this is one dielectric measuring setup this is semiconductor lab professor in charge is professor pk giri this is uh, photoluminescence spectrometer so mainly we measure the uh, photoluminescence spectra of the samples the materials we actually create okay okay uh, this is iv characteristic setup here uh, you can uh, check the iv characteristics of semiconductors okay thank you this is optical imaging laboratory and computer generated holography laboratory so this setup can be used to shape the laser beam and also generate atmospheric turbulence inside the lab environment so now uh, so here Uh, we can see that we can generate a uh, vortex beam or so known as the om beam so this is the om beam so now if we add some turbulence into this beam so the beam gets distorted okay so then you can measure the measure the turbulence 
yeah we uh, we can also basically we are generating the turbulence and seeing how the uh, beam changes in presence of turbulence okay okay got it